True Believers Elite Legend back at you with another custom showcase. Today we're taking a look at one of my personal favorite B-level villains in the Marvel Universe. Today we are taking a look at David Cannon, also known as the Human Top, also known as the Whirlwind, who made his debut in Marvel Comics in the Tales to Astonish number 50 issue, which hit newsstands on December of 1963. He was created by the legendary combination of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Now, David Cannon, or Whirlwind, had very humble beginnings growing up in the Midwest. He discovered that he had mutant powers, was able to move at great speeds at a very early age, and due to his humble beginnings, it, it drew him into a life of crime. One of my favorite things about comics is the ability to escape your real-world problems. Now, the 60s versions of Marvel Comics, although that was a turbulent time in American society, uh, it, it, was, it seemed much simpler then. It was more stories of good versus evil. Your villains um, were of the comic book variety, no pun intended. Um, they, were, they, they were masked, they were caped, they wore spandex, and they were either hell-bent on world domination or just wanted to steal the shiniest jewel or take in the biggest bank robbery hall. Whirlwind wasn't very good at what he did, but he has done what he does for almost 50 years now. Now, Whirlwind, this figure, uh, didn't do too much um, to him. He's a very minor custom. The only thing I did to him was I changed his tights. I, I gave him a different a shade of green there. And I also gave him a, a flush color on his torso. We're going to do a comparison in just a moment. However, I'm going to just show you the figure itself. He has all the classic Marvel Legends uh, articulation that you, you're accustomed to by now. So I'm not going to go over all the articulation. At some point, I am going to alter his blades. But my favorite uh, version of the Whirlwind does not have a shirt under his armor. Now, as you guys know, I like to have an accompanying piece of comic book art to display with my customs. So as you see here, I have the September of 1975 issue of Avengers. And there you see the whirlwind in the middle of things there. Now let's take a look at a comparison. And now we see the whirlwind next to his Marvel Legends official debut figure. This was from the Onslaught series. We see him here. This is the original release. As you see, the only changes here are um, he no longer has that gunmetal replaced with green tights. No longer does he have what should have been chain mail, um, but it's just a, a layer of black paint over his torso, of gray gunmetal paint over his torso. Here, I just gave him a flesh tone. If you're wondering what paint I use, I use Citadel. I'm not happy with the blades. I'm going to alter these at some point. But there you see, pretty pretty simple custom. Very minor uh, amount of work. All right, and now here we see the Whirlwind with two of his more common opponents. These are the Toy Biz Captain America and the Toy Biz Iron Man. And now we see Whirlwind. Hurling one of his blades in the object of his affection. But being blocked by the giant man. And now we see the whirlwind. 
knocking that smug grill off of the Iron Man. All right, so now we see Whirlwind reunited with his Masters of Evil brethren. Make sure you hit the like button if you see something that you like. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you help the channel grow by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can be notified whenever Elite Legend posts new video content. And keep your eyes peeled as Elite Legend goes live this weekend on YouTube. Check out the other brothers in the tag team toy community. And until next time, make mine marvel.